According to a recent panel about the shortcomings of the Canadian bail system, this system strongly discriminates against Indigenous peoples. The panel, held on October 11th in downtown Toronto, provided insight on how the bail system is broken, since it alienates and targets this demographic. I can certainly say as a practitioner, somebody who was a defense lawyer for many years, um, that there is no other process that discriminates more against marginalized people than bail, and there is no group more prejudiced by the bail process than First Nation, Métis and Inuit. Linked with this sense of alienation, according to the panel's Danny Morton, Indigenous peoples face higher rates of remand than the general Canadian population, overrepresentation in homelessness, suicide rates and mental health issues, a higher rate of detention, and a higher likelihood of breaching a bail condition. There are a whole host of barriers, um, and, and many of these are forms of systemic discrimination that affect Indigenous people at bail. Morton further discussed some of these barriers. Community fragmentation due to Indigenous peoples moving to big cities and a legacy of colonialism leads to a lack of support from family and friends when it comes to respecting bail conditions and finding sureties. There's language and cultural barriers. Also, since reserve property can't be owned by individuals, Indigenous people can't use land ownership for bail collateral. Then, there's the problem with remote access to faraway communities and reserves. Virtually all First Nation communities do not have public transportation to the nearest courthouse or urban centre. So even Six Nations, um, there is not public transportation to get to Brantford to attend court. And this is a major barrier in terms of, again, getting sureties there, but also to be able to check into bail program uh, and to be able to follow other conditions of bail. If you can't show ties to your community, if you can't show that you have local roots, if you don't have people to support you like family and friends, all of these acts act as strikes against you at bail. Implementing updated technologies within the system, for instance, video chat access for those in remote communities who need to report for bail, was one of the solutions brought up in the panel. This way, people don't have to leave their community or support system or travel to court at their own expense. Another solution discussed is developing an Indigenous bail and remand program, which Morton is currently doing as legal counsel with the Aboriginal Justice Division at the Ministry of Attorney General. This program aims to develop a more flexible eligibility for Indigenous bail criteria that's more culturally contextual and holistic. For Law Times, I'm Alexia Kapralos.